Well, new tonight, an alleged plot to attack the Buckies on I-35 and two New Braunfels high schools was stopped by the FBI and the Joint Terrorism Task Force. The suspect pleads it guilty to one of the three counts against him. Our Yami Virgen has the details that were not in a press release sent out by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Peterson allegedly started planning all of this in November of 2022. Then in January of this year, he attempted to buy a 12-gauge shotgun, but was denied. This was in Comal County. And then he continued plotting, according to authorities. Peterson recorded a video in the woods of a New Braunfels park showing him discussing the attack with his girlfriend. He allegedly planned to use the shooting at a Bucky's on I-35 as a distraction. Peterson then would proceed to the two high schools, one Canyon High School and the other New Braunfels High School. Sources tell us that Peterson was once a student at Canyon High School. Those familiar with the plea deal Wednesday in court tell me Peterson had one improvised explosive device, or IED, fully constructed and had the materials to create an additional 10. Peterson's alleged plan was to execute the mass shooting in 2026 or sooner. However, authorities believe that after he attempted to purchase a weapon in January and was denied, his plan changed and he may have been plotting to execute it sooner. So in May, he tried for a second time to purchase a weapon, but was flagged due to the alleged previous lies on his ATF federal form when trying to buy the weapon in January. Federal sources report that during this year's graduations, extra precautions were taken at both high schools since Peterson had not yet been arrested. On June 5th, he was taken into custody. If the judge accepts this plea deal, Peterson is looking at 10 years maximum behind bars instead of the 20 to life he was looking at if he went to court for the three charges, sentencing schedule for earlier next year. Jamie Virgen, Fox Essay.